Good morning. Welcome back to the Groom Family Kitchen. Today we, Olivia, today we shall be making a mulberry pie. Uh, we have a mulberry tree out front by the mailbox. It's actually practically taking over the mailbox. And I figured why not use some of these mulberries. And so we shall be making a pie. Uh, hopefully it goes well. We shall see. I've never made it before. So wish me luck. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to preheat the oven here to 400 degrees. And then I'm going to prepare. The recipe calls for three cups of mulberries. Now I think I have about two cups and um, I'm lazy, so I'm not going to cut off the stems. And if you're not lazy, you can cut off the stems, but I think that would take a long time. So I'm not doing that. I think I have about two cups. I'm going to measure it out. And um, if I ha whatever I don't have, I'm going to use some diced strawberries instead. Full cups of mulberries. So I'm going to fill the rest of this with strawberries. And then I'm also going to... Um, do one extra cup of strawberries. Okay, so we combine our strawberries and mulberries here, um, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so ne next we're gonna add one and one fourth cup of, it calls for white sugar. Now we're healthy around here, so we're gonna use stevia in the raw. It's like kind of like sugar, but it's like fluffier and apparently healthier some crap. So we're gonna just add that in there. One cup. See, it's kind of like fluffy. One fourth cup. Next, we're gonna add one fourth Mommy, cup of whole wheat Mommy. flour. Yes, my love. Check. We're gonna Couch. check. Couch. Couch. Okay, we gotta add the flour first. One fourth cup whole wheat flour. Then we need to take a break and go to the couch, folks. So couch break. Okay, so we're just mixing. Uh, after our couch break, we're just mixing the flour and uh, stevia together with the berries. And it's going to get all moistened up here. It's going to be really yummy. Okay, next we're going to prepare our pie crust. Now we have a homemade by uh, from the home of Kroger pie crust here. We're going to just unroll it into this pie pan. Um, now I've been letting this sit out to room temperature for about probably 15 to 20 minutes. It says to have it be room temp. Um, so let's see what happens. Rolled it into there and it says press firmly into the sides and bottom. Okay, we've pressed it very firmly, folks. We are ready to add our filling. Okay, I'm kind of feeling like I need to add a little bit extra flavor. So I'm gonna add some cinnamon and nutmeg, just like however much we want, just for taste. Um, this is an optional add-in, or you can add in what other, other, whatever other spices you see fit. Um, but I just think it would just add a little extra something, something. Now we're ready to dump it straight into the pie crust. All right, I dumped it in. Now I'm just going to spread it around evenly and prepare the other crust to go on top. Okay, now we're going to attempt to be a little bit fancy here. You could just roll this out and just put it on the top and add a couple slits. However... We're going for fancy today. We're gonna to try to roll this out and form a couple uh, weave patterns on the top. So um, hopes and prayers and thoughts needed here, folks, because I've never done this before, so bear with me. So I'm just cutting uh, not straight lines with a pizza cutter here, and then we're gonna to try to weave a little bit and go from there. I laid the strips long ways first, then I'm just taking each strip. I'm gonna go under, over, under, over. Um, and we are gonna, this is looking like it's gonna happen, people. So I think we are onto something here. Um, if you have like actual instructions how to do this, I might recommend following those. But if you're just like me and you just try crap, then go ahead and try it. What could go wrong? There, I think that looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty cool. So, Olivia. So I think she's just excited to eat it. Um, Next, it says that we should brush the top with just a tad bit of milk and we're gonna let it rest in the fridge. Actually, I think I'm gonna try to do something here with the edges first, cause I don't really know if it's supposed to look like that. So I'm gonna work on that and uh, be back with you in a second. Trim the, trim the pie edge um, to match with like the edge of the pan. So I'm gonna work on that now. Edges with just my pizza cutter once again. And uh, I'm going to just see what to do about the edges here. 
I think I'm gonna crimp the edges and then I am gonna go let it rest in the fridge for a little bit. And uh, I may even add like another, I may even add another couple lines in here. We'll see. It's whatever you want. Okay, so I did add a couple more strips and I'm going to go ahead and use my fingers and just crimp around the edge here. That's what it says to do, like a little something. I don't know, I've never done this before. If you guys have any tips, let me know. I'm just gonna maybe make a little fingerprints. That way the government can have my fingerprint, even though they already have it, but you know, whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna just experiment with this a little bit and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so what I did was I just kind of went around and pinched. Um, now I'm gonna brush it with a little bit of milk and let it rest in the fridge for 30 minutes. I don't really know how much or anything. I'm just kind of, and actually I didn't have milk. This is more like uh, half and half. <laughs> so you know what? We're doing the best we can with what we got. I don't know why we're even brushing it with milk. That seems odd to me, but hey, that's what the recipes call for. So that's what we're doing. We're following instructions and we're doing the best we can with what we got. So now, as I said about six times, in the fridge for 30 minutes. So we're gonna bake the pie for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, so I let the pie bake um, at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Actually, it's probably more like 20 minutes because we went on a walk and I forgot about it. So I just um, opened it up, it looks pretty good, but the next step is lower the oven to 350 and bake an additional 30 minutes. Now, like I said, I did leave it in there longer, so I lowered it to 350, but I'm probably just gonna bake it another maybe 10 or 15 minutes um, and also deal with the toddler meltdown and go from there. So thank you so much. All right, I just pulled the pie out of the oven. It looks spooky good. Um, I think that that's gonna be called a success, folks, pending the taste test. We will let you know the results as soon as uh, we got them. Thank you and have a great day. Okay, here with the taste test is my mom. And uh, mom, what did you think of the mulberry slash strawberry pie? I thought it was very delicious and tasted pretty healthy, but it wasn't quite sweet enough. Hmm, maybe with a little bit of ice cream? Ooh, yes. I used hot whipped cream, mm -hmm. so ice cream would fix that sweetness problem. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.